if you're a subscriber to the channel, you'll know that usually I'm mucking about with electric bikes, maybe dabbling in an electric car here or there, but today I'm going super size. Today, it's all about the mega electric vehicles. Should we go take a look? Look how big these things are. I don't know what I've signed myself up to, but seeing as I am going ham today, I'm gonna to be focusing on this bad boy, the E-Actros 400. Now, it would be irresponsible of me just to jump straight in. So if you wanna see more content on me trying out these two bad boys, then that's gonna be on Instagram and other socials. So go check those out. But I think we should go take a closer look at this one, shouldn't we? Well, yeah, I'd, 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 I don't wanna be in front of this guy. I definitely wanna be behind it. Should we see how many paces? This vehicle is, I mean, actually, we're gonna be here all day if I'm counting. I mean, this is a freight truck through and through. Just for scale, the wheels alone. <laughs> Did you go up to my hip? I got long legs, guys. Let's have a look in the back. Right, let's open this up and just see how vast it is on the inside. We've got the muscle here. <laughs> right, so the only way to get in is by using a chair. I've been warned it is quite difficult to get in, so let's just, uh, let's see if I can manage this. It's gonna be a great angle for me right now. Okay. Stop it. Get some help. So this is a 13 and a half meter trailer. Let's, let's do the little echo test. Woo! Yeah, there's definitely some reverb going on there. And they put in the concrete blocks in here as well because they want to simulate load. So when I'm gonna be driving this, it's gonna be like actual real life driving. How on earth am I gonna drive this? Can someone please tell me? Let me know down in the comments. What do you think is gonna happen? Is it gonna crash? Is it gonna roll? Anything could happen today. It won't crash or roll. <laughs> so I can hear some of you wondering, Ailish, how on earth do electric trucks have the mileage needed to get across the country? Well, this baddie, the e 300, has three battery packs, each installed with a battery capacity of 112 kilowatt hours to deliver a range of up to 136 miles on a single charge. There's also an e 400 and 600, which you guessed it, have four and six 112 kilowatt hour battery packs installed for a longer range. But the question remains, can these trucks successfully operate with public infrastructure? With a charging capacity of up to 160 kilowatts, the e-actros can go from 20% to 80% in just over an hour with three batteries or an hour and a half with four. Developers at Mercedes-Benz Trucks have tested charging a prototype of the e-actros 600 with an output of one megawatt for the first time. And with a trucker having to take a break every four hours for 45 minutes, these trucks are going to need a hefty rapid charge to get them back to a good level. Last year, the 300 was extensively tested under winter conditions of up to minus 25 degrees Celsius when they drove at 3,000 thousand kilometers from the Arctic Circle to Stuttgart last year. So the work is being done to get these confidently rolled out onto the roads. These trucks have been designed for longevity and are kitted out with all the latest tech and driver assist. The e 300 includes mirror cam to help maneuver precise turns, two electric motors for high torque and a sealed cabin for minimal noise. Everything a trucker needs to manage their long journeys. Okay, right, so. I've just had a test drive in the e Econic. Okay. Oh gosh, it's bouncy. Oh my God. All went really well. I had a couple of laps, feel really good. Was about to jump into the uh, the 400, the blue one, the, the middle size. And uh, the other team who are here today filming have taken it. So looks like I just need to kind of crack on and get into the beast, which is why we're here. So I'm going from a 27 ton to a 40 ton straight up. This is a tractor, so the, the driving is gonna be completely different to anything I've ever experienced before. So there's only one thing to do is to get inside. Ciao. It's all feeling very real now. They're all just discussing the logistics. I'm gonna be going on the straight first and then can try the hilly route. They say that life is about 20% skill, 80% bravery. I think that rings true today. Grab the bull by the horns. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'll let uh, I think so. Ashton Martin, we're ready when you are. Push there forward. we go. Brake down. That felt like it came off. All right. So if you're driving a 40 ton vehicle. <laughs> Over to your right slightly. Yep. Perfect. Now nice and straightforward. You're clear on your left hand side. So keep going. Keep forward, keep forward, keep forward. Now, full lock to your right. Oh yeah. To straighten out. Now, if you stop here, you can see where you're ah. at the back. So you over accentuate that turn, which is what you want to do to be in with. And uh -huh. you slowly start to get a feel as to where the trailer is in relation to the rest of the vehicle. Okay, so, so, so that's a good spot then? That's a good spot. That's nice and safe. You've got loads of clearance there. So now what we want to do is just try and hug this white line. Got you. Start to straight, straighten out. Got you. Wow. Smashed it like a pro. Uh. First corner, tick. 
I mean, I'm definitely gonna say it was all you and your instruction, but I will take a little bit of that. Wow, I mean, just having the cameras here showing the side, like, yeah, you, you need it. I'm, I'm loving the height. You just you feel like a king. I was just about to say, I feel like king of the castle. King in the castle, king in the castle. This is, yeah, this is lovely. Very smooth, very quiet. It's so weird thinking this massive trailer is just dragging along behind me. Yeah, now have the mile straight all to yourself whenever you're ready. Uh huh. Okay, all yours. Let's go! So even though you're pulling 12 tons. I mean, I got straight up to 20 there in a few yeah. seconds. And that is the wow. advantage of driving an electric truck because you've got instant torque, instant power. There's no jerky gear changes. It's just smooth acceleration all the way up to 55 miles an hour. So where are you now? I'm on 47, oh, look at 48, that. 49. Come on, get to 50. Whoa. Wow. I mean, do you know what? When you kind of look at the sides, you can see I'm going at some speed, but here right now, I think because I'm so high, it doesn't it doesn't feel that fast. Do you Absolutely. know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Well, I definitely just got over 50 there. I'm having a lot of fun. Like Good. this is this is this is awesome. I can't stop smiling. It's, it's what a cool experience to have. So we're doing the hills now. We're gonna do a hill. Uh, <laughs> so this is where things start to get interesting. Abuse pad. Oh yeah. What a name. <laughs> Worse than it is, I abuse you. pad. <laughs> what on earth? What do they do with the abuse pad? I was going to send the reporters. Speak <laughs> <laughs> very negatively about trucks. Right, noted, noted. <laughs> right. Excellent. So okay. That line is actually, bang on. So you want to keep your left wheel pretty much where it is now, kind of just over the white line. That's it. Oh, those speed bumps barely even touching us with how comfy it is in here. That air suspension is really giving. This next turn yeah. is a little bit slanted, but don't worry, you can go anywhere on this turn and the truck and trailer are gonna be absolutely fine. Fine. But I would recommend just straddling the middle. Wowie! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do you know what, it, it looks a lot worse than it actually is. So, so with this, this is a bit more complicated, so uh, I would sort of stick in the middle of the lane. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Stay straight and keep going straight, keep going straight. That's it. <laughs> and then left a little bit. In the middle of the lane. Middle of the lane. And now slowly around with the wheel. Full turn. Yeah. That trailer. Keep your speed up a little bit. Okay. That's it. And then just start to straighten up and head off to the right hand side of the, okay. uh, the lane. Got you. And that is your first lap. Oof! Thank you. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 pretty huge. That's pretty huge. I'm not just saying this. I've taken a lot of people out uh, this week, and that was probably one of the best. So you did really really well. For real? You, you did really really well. Great. Nicely done. <gasps> Thank you. Well, thanks for taking me round. No worries. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I think I think I need to. I think I've got a new job, basically. <laughs> Apparently that was quite good. Very good. Apparently that was really good. So um, yeah, I think I need to go and have a drink now. <laughs> uh, not not alcoholic, obviously. <laughs> a, a glass of water. <laughs> Settle my nerves. But no, like I feel like I needed to just kind of get used to the turning. And then all of a sudden, once that was sorted, like it, it actually just became really natural. So natural, in fact, that Ash decided I could have a go at reversing the truck back into its parking spot. What a mistake that was. Looks like I can drive the truck forward, but reversing is another thing. <laughs> anyway, next time, next time. Do you know what? It all felt really natural. It felt like the moment you start to get a feel for how the turns are and like the sense of space, it all just became actually like very relaxing. And obviously I was like beaming from ear to ear the whole time. So um, I think this has been a successful day. But what do you guys think at home? Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts. How did I do? If there's any truckers out there, if you've got any tips, hit me up and I can come back because there's word that there is an even bigger truck that I can try later down the line i won't say anything more though so let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this please hit that subscribe button and do hit that like as well so we can get this video out to even more people further afield get more electro heads on board and i'll see you for the next one